Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to take a look at a web application called Pixlr. Pixlr empowers you to edit pictures that you've already taken and saved on your hard drive, although it could also be pictures that you take from your webcam. First thing that you want to do is go to pixlr.com, P-I-X-L-R.com. When you're on this website, scroll down. Underneath Pixlr Express, click on Launch Web App. From here, again, you may take the picture from a webcam, a URL. You can get it from your hard drive. I'm going to click on Browse to search my hard drive. And I have a picture here that I have already obtained from Creative, Co Creative Commons. And this picture is copyright free, which does not require any attribution whatsoever. I'm going to double click on this image. One of the most common things that people want to do is adjust the size of the image. So what you do is you go down to adjustment, click on resize. If you want to keep the proportions, have this slider all the way to the right. That way as you change the width, the height will automatically adjust, as you see here. If, however, there is a particular width that you need, but you need to keep it at a particular height, change the slider here over to the left, then make the adjustments that are needed. Click Apply. As you can see, that will change the overall image. You can go back in and crop it to eliminate any extraneous elements that are unnecessary. Then click apply and resize it again if needed. You may also add text to the image. Just click on type and let's say we want to go with serif here. We choose the font and we're going to go with brawler Type in the text that you desire to overlay on top of the image. Move the text around as needed. Resize it as needed. So that way it fits. You can also adjust the color of the text. When you're done, click on Apply. There are other things that you may wish to do. For example, if you want, you can add a sticker to the image. And let's say you want to add a mark of some sort. And let's go with a claw mark. If for some reason, this would apply to your image. You can rotate it and resize. If you're happy with the way it looks, click apply. You can add a border to the image. And there are a number of different types of borders that you can choose from. For example, under grunge, we can choose a film-like look to overlay it. And there's many options to play with. I'm going to be happy with this and apply, but you can lessen the intensity of it by adjusting the slider. You can click on Overlay and can add something to the back of the image. For example, under Flame, we have a number of possibilities. And there's, you can click on this arrow to bring up more options. I'm going to go with Resort here and click Apply. You can click on Effect and you can make a vintage effect or choose any of these others or stick with the default. 
and I'm gonna go with subtle. And it shows you what the how it will look under these different items here. I'm gonna click Roxy and click Apply. If you are happy with your adjusted image, you can click on this to bring up the other options. And here, if you wish, you may apply an airbrush, fix red eye, brighten the image, sharpen, blur out different elements. Like if there is somebody's face on there and you want to protect their anonymity, you can blur out their face, auto fix, rotate, etc. So just play with all these options because there are many, many things that you can do with Pixlr. If the image on the screen is too small after, after resizing it, you may adjust it by doing this, by playing with the slider here. When you're done, save the image by clicking on Save. Change the image title. Adjust the quality to 100% then click on save. And now it should be saved onto your hard drive. Going back to my hard drive, I'm going to double click on this, and this is what the image looks like. Pixlr is a very powerful tool that can empower you to create some very effective images for your website or your blog, or any other online venue that you are managing. Thank you very much for your time, and for watching my video, please give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a great day.